to San Francisco. Landmarks all lit up for the occasion. KPI X5's Betty Yu live at Civic Center Plaza tonight. It's being turned into a celebration plaza for Pride. Betty? Alan, at this hour, crews are still busy readying this space for two days of entertainment and festivities. Over here to my left, this will be one of the alcohol booths for this weekend's festivities. Tonight, the Castro is ready to celebrate Pride and welcome tens of thousands of visitors this weekend. Rainbow flags decorated businesses and light poles. The neighborhood will turn into Party Central. For many businesses, this is their biggest weekend of the year. We sell way more than normal, yes. I mean, business is probably like five to ten times the amount than a normal weekend. It's why the Midnight Sun says it's nearly doubled its staff and shifts and brought in at least three times the amount of alcohol it normally does. Down the street on 18th, Harvey's Restaurant and Bar says it is prepared to stay open later each night until last call. This evening, the 16th annual Trans March kicked off from Dolores Park and ended in the Tenderloin. It is one of the largest trans pride events in the country. Ashley Benson is trans and flew from Missouri for her first march. Every single community I've ever seen has been here just welcoming and friendly and, and just, I mean, we don't have that in small town Missouri. This is the fifth time Diane Alcala is walking. It's important for me because I believe that trans people need to be free and be living as who they are. And I'm also here um, in that we have a long, long, long way to go and a lot to fight for. There's been too many trans women, trans women of color that are still experiencing a lot of violence. This year also marks the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots in New York, which sparked the modern gay rights movement. If only Stonewall had corrected everything and moving forward, but you know, we still have lots and lots of problems and lots of challenges. And so every year, I march in Pride and I march in the Trans March uh, because I want to support change. SFPD officers were highly visible today. The department is reminding Sunday's Pride Parade goers to leave bags at home, allow extra time to get through security at the Civic Center celebration, do not bring alcohol to the venue, and there will be no open containers allowed on city streets. Well, Sunday's Pride Parade kicks off on the Embarcadero and it ends here at Civic Center Plaza. SFPD is also encouraging people not to drive, take public transportation instead. Live in San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. The outline for the famous pink triangle has been put up on Twin Peaks tonight. You can see it pretty much from all over the city. The rest is going to be filled in tomorrow morning.